Hi, I'm Brian Barnes and welcome back to the University of Louisville's Echo Reps video training series. This film is part of UofL's basic Echo Reps training series. All of the films discuss the concept of sustainability as it relates to Belknap Campus at the University of Louisville. This film's primary purpose is to educate the students, staff, and faculty at UofL regarding the term sustainability and many major applications on Belknap Campus. So, what is sustainability? In this video series, we're going to examine two definitions of sustainability. The first is from the United States Environmental Protection Agency. We're using that definition because of its importance for developing ideas about sustainability and because of the way the EPA helps set policy and influence regulations worldwide. So what does the EPA have to say? Here's their answer to the question, what is sustainability? From the EPA's point of view, sustainability is based on a simple principle. Everything that we need for our survival and well-being depends, either directly or indirectly, upon our natural environment. Sustainability creates and maintains the conditions under which humans and nature can exist in productive harmony that permit fulfilling the social, economic, and other requirements of present and future generations. Sustainability is important to making sure that we have and will continue to have the water, materials, and resources to protect human health and our environment. At UofL, are we meeting the EPA's vision for sustainability? For example, are practices on Belknap campus creating and maintaining the conditions under which humans and nature can exist in productive harmony? Are we considering the social requirements of future generations? Is UofL taking steps to ensure that the water, materials, and resources that are needed for the protection of human health and our environment are available? UofL's answers to these questions appear throughout the film series. Our second working definition of sustainability comes from the director of the Office of Sustainability, Justin Mogg. Dr. Mogg focuses on the interconnection and mutual nurturing of three aspects of our world, social equity, economy, and ecology. For him and others, balancing these three areas in terms of resources, development, and social justice will provide benefit for all stakeholders affected by human activity, including the inhabitants of Belknap Campus. Mogg thinks that a good balancing of the three areas of sustainability should entail reducing or eliminating waste and pollution, reducing and eliminating abuse to people, animals, and the planet, relying on renewable resources, changing the disposable mindset, cultivating diversity, both human and ecological, and building resilient communities. It's clear that the EPA's definition is interested in protecting resources and the environment for the sake of human well-being. It's also worth noting that harmony with other species or the environment is not an overt goal, not one for its own sake under the EPA's approach, but rather it's a goal for the long-term benefit of human beings. Presumably, under this definition, human benefit will always be the most important aspect of sustainability and its ultimate end. While many definitions of sustainability, like those put forth by the deep ecology or radical sustainability movements, find this human-centered approach too biased to be truly considered sustainable from a biospheric point of view, Mogg's essay on sustainability does a nice job contextualizing sustainable action as providing benefit for the entirety of stakeholders, human and non-human. We should strive to provide a balance for all stakeholders affected by human activity. We should eliminate abuse to the planet. We should cultivate human and ecological diversity. We should be building at UofL resilient communities. This sort of rhetoric seems to include the non-human stakeholders of our campus, many of which go unnoticed during our daily activities here. Without balance in the biosphere, imbalance can lead to systemic failure. <coughs> How well is Dr. Mogg's approach being implemented at UofL? To what extent do the university's actions exemplify his and the EPA's ideas about sustainability? How can you help the university improve its approach to sustainability? Are there things that one person can do to make a difference? This video series will provide the information needed in many areas of the university to answer questions about how sustainability looks on Belknap campus. In what ways does it eliminate waste, reduce abuse to animals, or rely on renewable resources? Is it doing anything to change the disposable mindset? How about cultivating both human and ecological diversity? Are we building resilient communities on our campuses at UofL? 
The two approaches to sustainability at the core of this video are only part of the picture though. Throughout these videos, there are also other important ideas regarding sustainability. Earlier, I indicated deep ecology, radical sustainability, stakeholder theory, and biospheric justice as important ideas. Look for more information on these in the supplementary materials for this website, as with all of our videos, available at louisville.edu slash sustainability. Also, look for important related terms like resilience, closing the loop, and green technology throughout the series. At the University of Louisville, sustainability matters. This Echo Reps video training program will teach you about food, transportation, housing, trash, power, water, soil, and other important aspects of daily sustainability. We'll show you how we're doing, how we can improve, and what you can do to help. We hope you'll watch the entire video series, come to our meetings on Belknap campus, and become certified as a University of Louisville Echo Rep. We'd also love to hear from alumni and Metro community partners. Check out louisville.edu slash sustainability for more information about the Echo Rep certification program and to learn about volunteering for sustainability projects at UofL.